Indian markets were closed on Friday. This update primarily covers Thursday and Friday of US and talks about the key events coming up this week. All the readings for Thursday US time which I had forecasted were absolutely correct. The markets were up a lot. Crude has been sulking. Note that gold and crude are a lot in US control these days because of the high export volumes that US commands. The Friday readings were literally all reversed. The market were in a bad mood. The job data etc were not that bad but market is waiting for one small positive trigger to go up few percentages. The smallest sneeze and it goes down few percentages. Between all of that Bitcoin is nearing 70,000. It has gone up 10% in last five days alone. Gold in India has crossed 66,000. I've been talking about gold since about 53, 54,000 levels in India. Bitcoin I've been talking since probably 50,000 levels. I personally have positions in gold but no Bitcoin. Tomorrow Indian markets will probably follow the global queues. They might not fall a lot eventually. May start with a largest fall around half percent, point seven percent, but gradually recover some of the lost ground. The IT heavyweights will probably correct. HDFC Bank will be under pressure from FIIs who will now resume selling after a bumper day on Thursday. Note that we are nearing the end of financial year now and there will be tax harvesting, there will be profit booking. Also next week all important event 12th evening India CPI data, 12th night US CPI data. So 12th people may anticipate a bit about what will happen in the night. 13th will reflect how the CPI data came in on both economies. I personally expect that US CPI data will be high. India's data will not look too bad. One thing I am really puzzled with from that perspective is the NBFC action from SEBI and RBI. At this time with elections just around the corner when election commission is about to declare the dates. This does not make sense to me because there is significant money in the NBFC stocks invested by retail. And there is a lot of lending done by NBFCs in urban as well as rural India. At this juncture, a lot of NBFC stocks have already corrected anywhere between 20 to 40 percent. Tomorrow, the entire IFL GM financial pack might fall again. There is enough ambiguity, lack of clarity on the future of both of these companies. Fewer NBFCs have just come under the hammer because they are in a similar space and investors are booking heavy profits and getting out. There are not many buyers coming forward at this juncture. I do have positions in some NBFCs from last week. I believe they might turn into loss tomorrow. However, looking at Adani Paytm fiascos, as soon as there is some sort of clarity, as soon as there is some sort of stability in these stocks, they will hit upper circuit for several sessions. This is driving retail crazy. Two or three 20 percent down sessions, two or three 20 percent up sessions. Really, there is no place to hide. I'll see you in the evening tomorrow.